I think next year is a year where the debate's going to be, is the bull cycle over or is it going to extend? I think it's going to create quite a lot of volatility in the first half, but I think GDP growth stronger. We have a dovish Fed. Valuations are reasonable, so I think we end up exiting very strong. We have to keep my... While almost everyone panicked sold in February, screaming crash, what actually happened was a rotation. Money poured out of overcrowded software names and into real infrastructure. Data centers, graphics processing units, energy grids, and the hardware that actually runs artificial intelligence. But here's the real question. Why did some artificial intelligence stocks crash by 40% while others doubled sometimes within the same sector? Nvidia so heading into 2026, forget the narratives. Whether you're hunting mid-cap growth opportunities or overlooked penny stock turnarounds in the infrastructure space, only three questions matter. Who can scale, who has the contracts, and who is converting artificial intelligence demand into actual earnings? In this video, we're breaking down our 2025 picks, the massive winners, the painful laggards, and the growth stock setups. The market is completely mispricing right now. However, this is not financial advice or an inducement to buy or sell stocks. Investing in the stock market is risky. All right, let's get into it. We first flagged Applied Digital when it was trading like a penny stock. Today, it's priced materially higher, reflecting the changes that actually occurred. Applied Digital is a clear example of how artificial intelligence infrastructure mattered in 2025. The stock now trades around the mid-20s after a 200% plus one-year move driven by its pivot into high-density artificial intelligence data centers and long-term hosting partnerships tied to hyperscaler demand. Technically, the stock has cooled from its highs and is consolidating, suggesting digestion rather than distribution. Fundamentally, the story into 2026 centers on execution, expanding capacity, locking in additional long-term contracts, and converting demand into predictable cash flow. If Applied Digital continues securing artificial intelligence-linked infrastructure deals and stabilizes margins, this pullback could represent a repricing pause rather than the end of the trend. The key question is simple. Can Applied Digital turn artificial intelligence demand into durable earnings before the market fully prices it in? Next is Broadcom, ticker symbol AVGO, which is a clear example of how artificial intelligence moved from hype to infrastructure in 2025 with the stock rising from roughly the $130 to $140 range to around $350, reflecting the market's repricing of mission-critical artificial intelligence, hardware, and networking. The rally has been driven by Broadcom's dominant position in custom artificial intelligence chips, networking silicon, and data center infrastructure, reinforced by long-term partnerships with hyperscalers, building proprietary artificial intelligence accelerators, and next-generation data center architectures? Technically, the stock remains in a long-term uptrend despite recent consolidation, suggesting digestion rather than distribution after a strong run. Heading into 2026, the key drivers are execution on artificial intelligence chip volumes, sustained demand for high-speed networking, margin expansion, and continued contract visibility from hyperscale customers. At current levels, Broadcom is no longer cheap, but it is priced like core artificial intelligence infrastructure, not a speculative trade. The real question is whether Broadcom becomes the NVIDIA of artificial intelligence networking and custom silicon in the next phase of this cycle, or whether the market has already priced in most of that upside. Next is BigBear.ai Holdings. We initially flagged this stock as a low-priced Palantir-style defense artificial intelligence play. The stock surged earlier in 2025 before pulling back to the $5 to $6 range where it now trades after a year of consolidation. Fundamentally, the story has not changed. Big Bear remains tightly aligned with defense, intelligence, and government artificial intelligence contracts, a niche in which costs are high, the United States is switching, and budgets tend to be resilient. Technically, the chart shows a classic boom and cool-off pattern, with price holding well above its early-year lows, suggesting the market is digesting gains rather than abandoning the thesis. Heading into 2026, upside hinges on contract wins, backlog growth, and proof of operating leverage, the same ingredients that eventually re-rated Palantir from a volatile small cap into a core defense artificial intelligence name. The key question now is simple. Is BBAI still in its prove-it phase, or is the market quietly setting up the next leg higher before fundamentals catch up? To celebrate this community reaching 5,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a free guide to spotting breakout stocks. 
you'll find the link in the description below. All right, back to the video. SoFi Technologies ticker, SoFi is a clear example of a stock the market repriced, not one that broke. After spending years trapped in the single digits, SoFi entered 2025 with improving fundamentals. It exited the year trading in the mid to high 20s, reflecting a sharp re-rating driven by profitability milestones, accelerating member growth, and expanding margins across lending, financial services, and its technology platform. The significant shift is execution. SoFi is no longer just a growth story, it's a scaled fintech with recurring revenue, deposit growth, and operating leverage. Technically, the stock has already made its explosive move and is now consolidating near prior highs, suggesting digestion rather than exhaustion. Heading into 2026, upside depends on sustained gap profitability, loan growth without credit deterioration, and monetization of its tech platform in a higher rate normalization environment. Does SoFi evolve into a durable fintech compounder, or has the easy re-rating already happened? CrowdStrike CRWD is the clearest example of AI software maturing into critical infrastructure. After a strong 2025 run, the stock now trades in the high 400s, reflecting a market that already recognizes CrowdStrike as a core cybersecurity platform rather than a speculative growth name. Technically, the chart shows consolidation after a powerful uptrend, a pause that looks more like digestion than breakdown. Fundamentally, CrowdStrike continues to benefit from rising enterprise security budgets, AI-driven threat detection, expanding platform adoption, and strong visibility into recurring revenue. Heading into the new year, the key questions are valuation and execution. Looking into 2026, investors will focus on margin expansion, cash burn reduction, production efficiency, and whether Rivian can prove it's a sustainable EV manufacturer rather than a speculative trade. The big question before moving on is simple. Does Rivian finally transition from a high-risk EV bet into a real turnaround growth stock, or is this just another cyclical rally? The next stock is D-Wave Quantum, a former penny stock that became one of the most discussed quantum computing and AI infrastructure plays of 2025. Earlier in the year, D-Wave was trading in the low single digits, often dismissed as speculative. Still, by year-end, it had surged into the mid-20s after delivering triple-digit gains as investors re-rated real quantum applications tied to government, enterprise optimization, and next-gen computing workloads. This move wasn't just hype. D-Wave stands out for its commercial quantum systems, real customer deployments, and growing relevance as AI workloads push the limits of classical computing. Technically, the stock has cooled and consolidated after a massive run, suggesting digestion rather than collapse. Looking into 2026, the opportunity hinges on contract growth, enterprise adoption, and proof that quantum computing can generate repeatable revenue at scale. The key question for you now is simple. Is D-Wave still early in a multi-year quantum adoption curve, or has the market already pulled too much future growth forward? Celestica Incorporated ticker, CLS is another clear example of how AI moved from hype to real infrastructure in 2025. The stock surged more than 200% over the year as demand exploded for AI servers, networking hardware, and data center systems that Celestica actually builds for hyperscalers. This wasn't speculation. Revenue growth was driven by real orders, real customers, and capacity constraints, not hype. Technically, the stock has pulled back from its highs and is now consolidating around current levels which often signals digestion after a significant run rather than a breakdown. Looking into 2026, the story is execution, expanding manufacturing capacity, maintaining margins, and converting strong AI infrastructure demand into sustained earnings growth. Can Celestica keep scaling fast enough to meet hyperscaler demand before competitors catch up? The following stock is ST Microelectronics, and this one is all about value, meeting long-term tech demand. STM is a global chip maker powering everyday technologies such as electric vehicles, industrial automation, smartphones, and energy systems. The stock has been under pressure over the past few years, pulling back from its highs, and now trades around the mid-20s, which puts it back near pre-AI hype valuations. That's why investors are paying attention again. As demand rebounds in autos, power chips, and edge AI hardware heading into 2026, STM is positioned as a cyclical semiconductor recovery play rather than a crowded AI trade. Technically, the stock appears to be stabilizing after a long reset, and fundamentally, the upside depends on margin recovery, improving chip demand, and global manufacturing support in Europe. The big question for investors is simple. 
does STEM turn this down cycle into a quiet comeback as the next semiconductor uptrend begins? To wrap this up, these stocks are just a small, random sample of the many companies we've tracked and discussed on this channel throughout the year. They are not the best performers, nor the worst. They're real examples of how different sectors responded as AI moved from hype to real infrastructure, real contracts, and real revenue. Some of these names ran hard, some pulled back, and others are still setting up. That's the point. Markets don't move in straight lines, and the most significant opportunities often come before the headlines catch up. As we head into 2026, the focus is shifting to execution, earnings, and who can actually turn demand into cash flow, not who has the loudest story. If you want to see which stocks we believe are best positioned next, which ones are quietly setting up, and which names investors might be completely mispricing right now, make sure you watch every one of our upcoming videos. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and stay with the channel. Because the next phase of this market is about selection, not speculation.